Hi, it's Michael Shea again, and this is Embryo Talk Time. And you can see in the previous videos that we've talked about the sperm and the egg, we've talked about the fertilization process, and a little bit about the first week of development. And we were just using these beautiful German models. So now we're coming up on my favorite phase of morphology and embryonic development, the second week. So let's pull this little model right up here into camera range and take a look at this model here. Beautiful, beautiful second week. Now let's orient to what we're looking at here. This is the endometrium of the uterus right here. So this is the uterus and this is the edge of the uterus right here. Those <coughs> cells that we looked at in the first week of development have differentiated into two types of cells, these cells in the outer rim right here, and the cells in the inner rim right here. Now, if you can see that these inner cells right here are yellow and pink, these yellow cells right here are going to become your viscera and these pink cells are going to become your brain and nervous system and skin and so forth. And that's where your human body forms, right in between those two layers of cells. So what is going on with all of these other cells? Well this is the beginning of the second week of development and we can see that the whole embryo proper here has implanted. It is starting to grow into the uterine lining. So the fertilized ovum has spent a week sliding down the fallopian tube. It's fallen out of the fallopian tube and landed on the lining of the uterus. And it starts to grow into the uterus. And the way it does that is that it releases an enzyme that kills the cells of the mother's lining, the endometrium here, and those cells burst and the embryo feeds off the cytoplasm and nutrients in the inside of those cells. So here we have a very early example um, and possibly the first example of how the embryo gets nurtured by the mother and the sacrifices that the mother has to make in order to uh, bring this child to term. Here we can see a pocket of fluid. Um, this is going to be the yolk sac. Here we can see the very beginning of the amniotic sac, which is going to end up being your third ventricle in the human brain. And here, if you can see, there is um, two empty spaces right here. It's called, one is colored blue, one is colored red. But these are lagoons, and basically what that means is that they're pockets of still fluid in this material right here, which is pre placental material. This is like protoplasm surrounding this outer mantle of cells of the human embryo. And it's this pocket, these pockets of still fluid that are going to invite the maternal blood vessels to come into and fill that pre-placental material with maternal blood for nurturing. So let's like a, take another look at this a little more closely with the next model. Now the models get a little bit larger. It's amazing. So let's orient to what we're looking at here. <clears throat> we still have the same color configuration of the yellow right here in the yolk sac uh, and these endoderm cells that are going to become part of your gut and then the pink cells becoming your nervous system, the amniotic sac right here. And then a third cavity is formed here, the chorionic cavity. And you can see in this lining around here, the gray by the dark, dark crimson red right here, this is the embryo's blood. So the first organ system that forms in the human embryo, and this is very important to remember, the very first organ system that forms is the blood. The blood surrounds this uh, whole embryo on the inner lining of the cavity. It has connective tissue cells, 
And one of the reasons it forms is so that it can transport the nutrition that's coming from the mother's blood that's diffusing through the cell wall of that chorionic lining right here. Because here you can see the mother's blood right here. Because those lagoons of still fluid now have filled up with the mother's blood three-dimensionally all around, stillness all around us. And nutrition, molecular nutrition, is coming from the mother's blood diffusing through the cell wall of the chorionic cavity right here and going into the embryo's blood. And then that embryo's blood right here starts to form a connective tissue bridge called the connecting stalk to the embryo proper right here. So it's a wonderful, wonderful um, time of life this implantation that leads to the building of a connecting stalk so that the embryo can get very rooted into the uterus and gradually, as you can imagine, this connecting stalk is going to become an umbilical cord. And the umbilical cord will then carry uh, more directly the nutrition coming from the mother's blood directly into the embryo. But we're not quite there yet. Remember that this is where the human body is going to form right there. So I think that's enough information about the second week.